Hi, confused about what's happening with the home prices these days? I'm not surprised, join the crowd. Well, this video is not gonna delve into all the reasons for confusion. We are gonna show you how some numbers can be confused with what you're actually experiencing in certain marketplaces, so stick around. I'm Dave DeSilva with LongTab Realty, brokered by eXp Realty here in awesome Charlotte, North Carolina. Many residential market reports use just the median price to show you what's happening to housing prices in your area. Are they going up, are they going down, or are they leveling off? Using median price as the only way of looking at data may not be the best thing in today's market, and I don't use median alone. The discrepancy in marketplaces between average and median price can be pretty significant. Using the Charlotte market numbers, for example, in May, we show a median sales price of $385,000 and an average sales price of just over $483,000. That's a $100,000 difference, which would make most buyers pause and think. To figure out which is better for you to use, you really should be calling your trusted advisors, your realtor and your lender, and discussing those numbers. I might suggest looking at both of those numbers, not in most cases, but in every case. Here's a visual on how you get a medium price point and to show you why you might want to avoid using just that as the only data point. Let's say you have three coins and you line them up based on their value from lowest to highest. The median is gonna be the one in the middle. If you have one nickel and two dimes, for example, then the median price is 10 cents. But let's say you have two nickels and one dime. Yep, you guessed it, the median or the middle is gonna be five cents. The worth of the actual coins didn't change. The data just is skewed a little bit by the mix. Do a comparison on a larger scale with average maybe versus median. Look at it this way. If I've got a neighborhood with 10 homes and eight of those are priced at $100,000 and two at a million, well, that median is still $100,000 and the average is 280,000. In this case, I don't think either tells the whole story and that's why earlier I said, talk with your lender and your realtor to get a more complete picture. While you're having those great thoughts about your trusted advisors, please go ahead and take a second to click the like button, make a comment, and share this video with your friends and family. So go back to the thought about using only median during your home search or while pricing your home to sell. With today's higher mortgage rates, and they're hovering somewhere in the 7% mark today, people are actually buying less expensive homes to keep their monthly housing expenses within their budget. And that's causing the median home price to decline. A little bit anyway. So what you're going to continue to see are headlines about prices going down based on the median value. When you think back to the coins, remember just because the median changes doesn't mean prices are actually falling. Average, as you can see, could be going up. It does mean the house, or sorry, the mix of houses are being sold maybe a little bit different. If you want to know what's really happening with home prices, let's connect. I can help you understand the headlines and what's going on in our area of Charlotte. And if you're looking to buy or sell in another area of the country outside of Charlotte, I'd be happy to refer you to a trust, trusted and vetted real estate expert in your area. As I mentioned before, please take a few minutes to go ahead and hit that like button, share this video, and make a comment. I'd love to hear what you want to talk about next time. And by the way, let me know what the prices are like in your market.